What's up guys, ready to have Blue Gaming in, welcome back to some more Stormworks. Today we're going to be um, celebrating Halloween and Stormworks. That's why Halloween is finally here. And I've got a pretty spooky episode for you guys. It involves the Megalodons, hopefully. It involves epic action escapes. Really um, foggy conditions, really bad conditions. And really dark nights. Anyway, if you guys do enjoy this episode of Stormworks, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and turn on the, that notification bell. Now let's get straight into the video. So, we just want to get a little further out and then we can start the um, ultimate Stormworks horror experience. The ultimate horror experience. It's going to be pretty epic. Hopefully it's going to be pretty epic. Don't quote me on that. Hopefully you can turn on some lights. Deck lights, bridge lights, and some light elevation lights, so lights. You know, all that on. Bang bang. Just gonna get a little dark. That's right, a little dark. And a little windy. And a little foggy. Oh no. Conditions are getting pretty bad. Oh no. I can't see. I'm gonna have to use radar for navigation. This is spooky already, and there's nothing even attacking us at all yet. We are relatively far out, like a kilometre away from uh, like two Ks out, which should be like a hundred meters of water below us, which means it should be perfect to megalodon conditions. Anyway, you know what? Let's summon them. Thing is, oh yeah. Um. Okay, this is horrifying. I see the smaller sharks and the main legs coming for us. This is so cool. It's so cool just seeing a bunch of red dots in the water, so you know they're coming for you. Very creepy. You yeah, don't go in the water. Hmm? Or you go away. No. Okay. No land around us. Got the heli emergency escape helicopter in here. Wait, we. I saw a massive panel panel over here. Ah, flares. That's what we need. I launched them. What the hell? Okay, there we go. You know what? It's gonna get even foggier. So I can see even less now. Good thing about these flares is they're pretty useful for illuminating the area. By certain my Halloween costume. Got multiple megalodons chasing us down. Oh, found the equipment room. Got all the valuable equipment. Fire extinguishers. Man, you got everything in here. Gotta get the night vision binoculars out. Did we get hit? No, we seem fine. It's not dark enough. Boom, now it's getting pretty dark. Oh, I don't see anything. Oh, there's the megs over there. Oh, this is so cool. Really good looking as well. Like the lights. Feels super eerie. Look at all those sharks and their megs chasing that. It's only... I count one, two... One's white behind us. There's some strange lights in the distance, which I'm pretty sure are the flares. I can't see them from here, but with the binoculars I can see them, which is pretty cool. Oh, that looks super creepy. Oh, no. I imagine if we should be outrunning them. 
There's like no islands near us. Like we are going to be so far away. Let's see if we can summon some more. Mm -hmm. Did we just get hit with something? But sure it didn't. Did we get hit? Because I just saw a flash. I think we're being here, it's just the ship isn't moving. Oh no, no, that's just the light going off. Man, this is like super cool. Like the regular binos. Zoom in a lot further, but night vision helps a lot. See a lot of uh, sharks, that's a lot of megs. Like, if I slam on the brakes, we're just gonna get absolutely annihilated. It's a really good design. This ship, I've played with it before, used it before. It's really good. FPS is surprisingly good once you get out of the dark, which is pretty epic. Um, Stop saying epic because that's gonna get annoying. I'm so annoying me. Okay, we've got the top areas. I'm gonna go try and find the engine room. Is this the engine room? No, this is the heli area. No, this isn't the heli area. This is. What is this? No, this is the side hangar doorway. Oh, okay, this is pretty epic. I just attach a machine gun to this and start drive-bying. Okay, probably should close the door because it's going to let a lot of water in. I see him right behind us. Oh, he's going to hit us in the engines. Okay, close that before he takes out our power. Here we have the under area. Where our little escape thingy is. We've got elevators. Got this, you can't move. Yeah, you got all the important stuff. Oh, he's going to the side. He's going to eventually overtake us. Probably should get inside. Man, this is like really cool. Because hmm? the ship's pretty big as well. It has a lot of stuff in it. So it feels like an actual ship. Immersion, getting chased by zombie megalodons, glowing eyes. Pretty epic. All oh, the airlock. Oof, I don't want to go down there because I'm moving. Okay, that's the door. Engine levels seem alright. Engines going alright. RPM going pretty fast. Now yeah, I might just relax in this room. Got this little viewport. Nothing really out there. see what happens when we slam on the brakes or the there's no brakes on a ship but you know what I mean like turn off the throttle so we just get absolutely now you know what I'm gonna do that I wanna see how much durable this ship is how so much damage it can take I just have a lot of open spaces so you can easily sink it you know what launch the flares bang 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 Slam the front. Uh. Throttle is off. You've lost all forward momentum. The sh shark is just the megs going around to kill us some more. We have seemed to. Man, the conditions aren't bad enough. Okay, we go. Just turn up the fog a bit more. Because I think we lost a few megs. Yeah, there's only two left. Oh no. 
Oh no. Please don't capsize Shim. I need you to stay alive. So I can stay alive. Oh, oh no. It's it's capsizing. God damn it. Okay. I don't... The oh my god. Okay. I've just phased into a wall. Help. Okay. So water has gotten in. I'm going to close that. The power is still up. The engines are still running. I have no idea what that meg hit. Oh, someone, a meg's going past. Is it going to hit me in the rear? Where all my engines are. Please don't. Those are important. Those engines are pretty important. Oh, I see another one in the distance. It's coming straight towards me. Oh, I see one leaping. Oh, there's more of them. They're coming. Right. You know what? I'll use a helicopter when you really, really need it. The flares are still going. Now they're starting to fall down a bit more. Is the light scaring them away? <laughs> Just probably makes it easier for me to see him. Um, oh no, it's coming. It's coming to hit me. Ooh. Ooh. That's a big hit. Straight to the side. In one of the compartments and it hit one of the engines. Yep. The engine compartment is pretty close to the side, so... The Megs can do some pretty serious damage. Okay. Mr. Meg, please. Please. Okay. Um, we need to go down below. See what the damage is. Hoping we don't tip over. Good thing the ship is pretty wide. It's a pretty wide ship. It's a pretty long and wide ship. Oh no, I see the wide light. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're sort of dead. Yeah, I think we're kind of dead. Um, I think I might want to get up a bit. Get up to the high ground. So I don't die. Instantly the lights are still working. The flares are still going. Oh my... Those are some pretty good flares. High premium grade flares. Oh, we're getting attacked from below. I think they've taken out like one of the stabilizers maybe. They've taken out something. Oh, another Meg's incoming. Are we taking on water? I have no idea. Hopefully not. Because I feel like we're starting to um lose most of our balance. Oh no, we're getting hit straight in the front. No big deal. Nice shot right in the front section. Well, that man is going for a backflip. Or not. Maybe it is. Oh no, incoming! Jesus, they hit pretty hard. We're not taking on any water yet, surprisingly, even though we've taken a lot of damage. It's a pretty durable boat, this one. Is that a baby shark or a smaller? Or just a regular shark down there? Nope, another Meg. Gee, how long did these flares go for? It's been like five minutes. It's been like five minutes, man. And these things are still going. It's this thing coming in for an attack. Oh no. Oh no, base frame back. Oh no, the flares have finally gone out. Gonna need to start using my night vision. 
to start seeing the regs because I can't see that far forward. Okay, things are going. Oh, I can see out. Anything out there? Nope. Okay, yep, yeah, there's something out there that's attacking me. Um. Oh, please. Why is the helicopter catching fire? Okay, fire extinguisher. Don't let it spread to the rest of the ship. Okay, it's gone. Oh, flip it spread. Wait, where is it? Is it down? It's down in the engine room. Oh no, the blaze has spread to the engine room. Um, let me get down there fast. Let me get down and stop the fire from spreading and damaging. Oh no. And the Megalodon really isn't helping with that. Oh jeez. Is there a fire suppression system? No, I can't see that put it out. It's like a sort of fire suppression. Should be. Main circuit bike is on. Oh, I should not have turned that on. Uh, turn that off. so much fire down here all the engines are just caught on fire um, I've got a good idea it's a tailborn good idea I can try and put out the fire using this yeah look hatch Can use it to put out the fires. Gonna need to use it because the blaze is gonna get out of control eventually. There's not enough water in here. Unlock the hatch. Unlock the hatch. Yeah, we need more water inside to put it out. Okay, I'm going to end up sinking this ship trying to put it out. Okay, as the fire spread to the top areas, it probably has. Um, I think it's a good time to abandon ship. Oh, water's getting in. Oh, the fire is just very big. Okay, we need to get up top. the door because I think we're sinking man it's a long episode the ship is literally on fire and we are taking on a lot of water um yeah it's time to abandon ship um wait a minute oh it's fire getting here I need to First, repair. Okay, I open the hangar door.
Connect and release. I can't move the thing up. Okay. Ship's lagging due to the fire. Okay, need to drag it. I can't drag it, this ship's pointing too much forward. Now, are we locked? Probably should have kept it up again. Um, I literally can't even. Okay. Open the way again. abandoned ship. Ship's on fire and sinking. Oh no, okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty concerning. Lights. Lights. Engine switch. Shouldn't put a reverse feature on this thing. Alright, here we go. Reverse. Oh no, it's connected. Um. them oh my Jesus Christ Finally, we can reverse. We're still not reversing, why not? Okay, we've escaped the burning ship, it just took a while. The ship is sinking, the ship is also on fire. was a pretty um insane and spooky episode. Like you can barely see just wet eyes everywhere. Yep. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Star Maps, and if you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.